Hello everyone, welcome to Midweek News. Yesterday, President Obama gave his last State of the Union speech where he laid out his what his plans for the future of the United States should be. He said that he had top researchers working on something called a Dragon Radar, which could be used to find these things called Dragon Balls. Uh, there are several, seven in total, and once collected would grant the user any wish they wanted. It was a bit strange, it was a bit strange, uh, but I guess at this point, a wish from a magical dragon uh, from its balls is about all we can hope for, isn't it? Oculus Rift co-founder Palmer Lucky talked about in an interview about the dis distaste for the Virtual Boy and how it set back the gaming industry from experimenting with virtual reality for almost 20 years. Strong words against the Virtual Boy, but for those of you who don't know, the Virtual Boy was one of the biggest flops, if not the biggest flop that a Nintendo product has ever seen. So much so that it was the it may have been the reason Nintendo, one of the biggest innovators in gaming in the gaming industry, has never gone back to virtual reality. So this is a uh, 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 one of the uh, co-founders of the of the Oculus Rift, and uh, this is uh, true. It's just true. It's it like yeah, we all know this. We all know that the Virtual Boy was an attempt at virtual reality, and it was one of the first attempts of virtual reality in for games. Um, well, I guess that's what virtual reality is. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, it failed. It flopped completely. Uh, three reasons mostly. One was uh, the uh, Virtual Boy just wasn't really true virtual reality. It was more like a 3D experience. Um, it was trying to it was trying to create a 3D environment without using any 3D uh, graphics. It was still limited at the time. It was like 1995 when it came out. It was still limited to uh, what uh, what technology was available at the time, and so it just wasn't really up the snuff when it comes to virtuality. It's not the virtuality that we think of and what we what should be virtual reality. And so that for that reason it failed. Uh, second was that there just wasn't very many games for it. Um, I mean the it was it was using uh, probably the latest technology of the well not probably it was using some of the latest technology of the time and and it was difficult to make games for because you had to it was, you had to make games, but you didn't know how well they were gonna sell. Um, so really the only games that were created were Nintendo games, pretty much dedicated for the Virtual Boy. And uh, so because of that reason, there wasn't really much much uh, demand for it, because there wasn't any games that, they, that people really wanted to play. And thirdly, it was cost. Um, I looked it up, and even though there were some cost-saving measures that they did, uh, so they cut costs where they could with the virtual reality, uh, virtual boy, and uh, it, they got it down to a hundred, about a hundred and eighty dollars in the United States, uh, and and that was too expensive at the time for this. Like a lot of people didn't want to spend that kind of money on this device, and. Uh, so that was enough, that was so those were the three reasons why it failed. Uh, and you might be thinking, well, the Oculus Rift. Most of those things are, are solved with the Oculus Rift. I think the first one, the tech. I think the tech is much better today than it was uh, with the Virtual Boy. So in that regards, I think the Oculus Rift is fine. Uh, second is uh, the uh, games for it. The Oculus Rift already has games out there that support Oculus Rift. So they, they've set it up in such a way where they've been building this product and they've been marketing the product before it's ever been released and people have been preparing for it. So you have developers that have been prepared for this device and have already planned out how they're going to use it. Um, and I think part of it is because of the uh, programming behind it. I don't think it actually uh, is that much different than you know moving your mouse around on a screen and looking around. There are some other games that maybe that's, that there are some other things that are different, but because um, I haven't tried it, so I don't know for sure. But uh, it it's in those two regards, they've they've set themselves apart from the Virtual Boy and its failure. Uh, the third is price. Now the Virtual Boy was was one hundred and eighty dollars. The Oculus Rift is six hundred dollars. Now there is a difference in uh, inflation. You know it was a different time. It was like twenty years ago. 
and that's the one thing that the the Virtual Boy and the Oculus Rift really have in common is the price tag does seem a bit high. However, I think when the Virtual Boy came out, the only people that were not the only people, but the majority of the gaming community were children. And the the way they got products usually was from uh, parents or gifts or, you know, they, they didn't go out with their money that they had earned and bought a product. They asked their parents for it and then the parents went, no, that's not really a product I care about. You have a gay boy, why do you need this? Um, I can't tell you how many times I heard that excuse uh, when I was a child. Uh, <laughs> What are you talking about? Why do you need a Nintendo 64? You got a, a, a Nintendo right there. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Why do my parents understand this? Okay, anyways, um, that's just a little bit of a rant about my mom uh, not wanting me to have a Nintendo 64. I eventually did get one, though, and it was when I was in high school. <laughs> so that was a long time ago. Uh, anyways, so the... Um, uh, what was that? Oh, uh, the current... Okay, so the, uh, yeah, the price tag on the Oculus Rift is, a uh, high, but it is selling to an audience that is big into gaming and also has a, uh, it, a, a large, a sizable income. So people that invest into their, um, gaming experience will buy this product. People who have high-end PCs will want an Oculus Rift because that will be, that will go with their high-end computers. And so there, it, it, it might not sell a lot of copies, but they might not need to. They might be able to just sell to a niche audience and be just fine. So I'm thinking that the Oculus Rift has, has basically learned from the mistakes of the Virtual Boy and has prepared accordingly so that they can come out with this product and once it's finally released which is soon will be uh it will be just fine so we'll have to wait and see what happens with the oculus rift to see if the product does well or not but to be honest i think it'll be just fine um a lot of people who have been saying that the price tag is, is so high that it's gonna it's doomed to failure i think don't really know what they're talking about um because they're in this in this day and age where people are okay spending uh spending hundreds of dollars on microtransactions um uh for for uh mobile games i think there are enough people willing to spend six hundred dollars on a on a brand new uh tech on brand new tech origin Access is coming to PC, EA's new $5 a month subscription model, which allows subscribers to play games from EA's vault, also known as Tomb, as much as you want. This comes after EA introduces uh, introduced this kind of model with Xbox One users and has uh, decided to expand it to PC. Uh, my first response when seeing this was, what's the catch? Because with EA, there's always a catch. And then my second thought was, this sounds really good. And that's why I thought there was a catch. Uh, so, because it's only $5 a month. I mean, how, okay, $5 a month for 12 months, let's say, is what? That's uh, $60, right? So you're, that's a game. <laughs> that's like a brand new game. So for a brand new, for the cost of a brand new game, you get to play any of the games that EA has in a in a in a in a hole in the ground, uh, where they they put games away where where they think they're done with them and they're never going to sell again. <laughs> I give that a lot of hard crap. That's not exactly true. I'm just kind of playing around with it. Uh, <laughs> the vault is more like it, they put games. Sometimes they'll promote games there, so sometimes you get some newer stuff on there but mostly it's just older games that um you can play uh which is still a good deal i mean for for five dollars a month that's that's a that's a nifty 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 deal i think i i don't know what they're how they get i mean i guess these are just old games that they're probably not going to sell anyway so might as well just get some money off of them and maybe this is how they do it uh so you know i guess that that's good 
Um, this is a solid plan. I, I have no problems with this, which is weird because it's EA and I usually have problems with whatever they do. But in this case, I don't. And I don't know what else to say. I guess I'll just accept it. But I'm still watching you, EA. I'm still watching you. I'll be watching you forever. Well, until I die, I guess. And once I die, I guess I can't watch you. That's just, the, that's just the reality of it. I can't help it. Sony tried to trademark the term Let's Play and failed. Uh, this was news I saw, what was it, like two days ago. Uh, I, was, I was reading about this. I was looking up things to talk about. And I saw that Sony tried to to trademark the term let's play and was like, oh my god, I hate copyright laws. Because copyright laws are a problem in the United States. This was in the United States, I believe. This was one of the, I think this was, um, yeah, in the United States. Uh, they, <laughs> I, I can't tell you how infuriating this would be for a lot of, because then all of a sudden all these, all these let's players, all the YouTubers would have to be like, Calling it something else. What else are we gonna call it? We could call it like, uh, let's game, uh, gameplay. I mean, <laughs> it's just like, like this would. Oh, you know what we could do? We could trademark let's play, and then everyone on on YouTube has to change let's play, or else we'll get all the revenue. <laughs> like I just, I, this is like, this is like. Almost like a comical villain. Like a Disney villain would come up with this plan, okay? Disney villain here. Although now I just thought of it. Now Kylo Ren is technically a Disney villain. I won't talk about that though. <laughs> but uh but luckily, luckily, uh Sony was denied the the the, the term. Let's play. The trademark. So they're not allowed to trademark let's play. But, and this is big, a big but, uh, the reason why they didn't get it was because, <laughs> I can't, I can't say this with a straight face, this is impossible, because it's too similar to another trademarked item, term, it's another term, it's let's play with a Z, what, what? What is going on here? <laughs> what has the world come to? This is ridiculous. Oh my god, I can't, I can't even. This is so, this, this is so bizarre. Like who, and then I was like looking up, who owns this? Who owns the trademark? And I couldn't find it. Like, I, I don't know, I don't know. The reason why Sony might have done this um, was so that for the PlayStation 4 streaming service, they could use the term and no one else could use the term. So I don't know if it would have been so much a backlash on YouTube, although YouTube probably couldn't use the term as well, but, uh, but YouTubers could maybe use the term Let's Play and get away with it. But I don't know. We don't have to worry about it because apparently Let's play. Uh, it's LP. Let's play. I guess maybe it's 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 uh it's a combined. So if you say LP. Let's play and have let's with a Z or a Z if you're Canadian or or uh, or uh, British <laughs> or or of the of the Commonwealth, uh, then <laughs> then it's it's a Z. Australian, uh, South a African. I don't know. I I can't Indian uh, India uh, India. I don't know. The Commonwealth, <laughs> not United States and other. <laughs> now I've just upset everyone. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I can't keep a straight face on this on this topic. This is so ridiculous. This is absurd, and this is like a serious problem that we have in the United States. I don't know if this is so much of a problem in other countries but in the united states we have a serious lack of control with the copyright law which allows companies or corporations big corporations to just copyright or trademark anything they want and get away with it so they just own everything and no one can actually do anything about it so it's just one of those things uh it, it's so bizarre and i i 
didn't. I'm trying my best to to keep it. Uh, to not laugh at this entire situation, but it's so bizarre. Anyways, <laughs> that's it. That's all I got. I can't do it anymore. I'm done. Anyways, that was your big news. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, just remember, when all else fails, Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls will save you. Always. <laughs>